Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in this video, I will talk about the trace RT command, which is also known as the trace route command. But in Windows 7 or any other Windows, you have to use it as trace RT. Now this is a powerful network troubleshooting utility. It is a route tracing diagnostic utility that determines the path it takes for a packet, a data packet or an IP packet to travel from your computer to a destination. So basically with Trace RT, you can print the entire route it takes for you to contact google.com or yahoo.com or whitehouse.gov or any other destination that you are trying to trace. All right, so let's run the Trace RT command. So type in Trace RT and let's just do Google really quick, www.google.com. So basically what's gonna happen is, the command prompt is going to print a complete list of the route we are going to take to reach google.com and I'm going to explain this to you once the trace is complete so let's press enter to start the trace and I'm going to wait for the trace to complete and then analyze the results really quick Okay, so the trace is complete. Let's see what's going on here. Now, anytime you go online to anywhere other than your own local area network, what you guys usually think is you type in www.google.com and boom, Google just shows up, right? What actually happens in the background is you travel through hundreds of routers before you reach your destination. Sometimes less than 100, but mostly uh, it's, it's a large number, okay? And uh, the trace RT actually prints every single one of the routers that you hit on your way to your destination. Okay, that's how the internet works. The internet is a network of hundreds of thousands of millions of routers that you route, get routed through to reach a destination. Okay, so let's take a look at what happened over here. So what I did was I wanted to go to google.com. Okay, so it's saying here tracing route to www.google.com it gives you the IP address of google.com and it starts the route uh, the tracing right over here at number one so the first thing it hits is my own wireless broadband router in my home okay so this is my router that's the first router we hit the second router it hits is a Verizon router so if you look over here it says Verizon blah 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 dot net so I do go through the ISP called Verizon so it is natural that it hit the Verizon router now the third router is again a Verizon router and then it goes through different routers until it finally reaches google.com but if you look at this total numbers over here the final number is number 14 so it took 14 routers for me to reach google.com and also uh, I just want to let you know that uh, this is also called 14 hops so if I say 14 routers it's the same as 14 hops so it took me 14 hops to reach google.com and I also want to let you know that there are some routers out there in the world that do not let you run a trace RT on them so if you look at number 13 the request was timed out either this router dropped the packet so it does not accept trace RT packets or this router was not working so we were directed to the final router number 14 alrighty so sometimes the router does not work and sometimes it drops the packet it silently drops the packet doesn't tell you why you just have to make a guess over there but um so how can we use this as a diagnostic utility let's say you were going to a website let's say google.com is working for you right now that means you're gonna see this whole trace all the way now if google.com goes down okay or if your ISP goes down what's gonna happen is at number two here in your ISP's router the trace is going to stop it's gonna go no further than your Verizon ISP 
then you can call Verizon and you can tell them, hey, listen, I, I was trying to reach Google.com, but your routers are not routing the packages. So I can go to Google.com. Okay. Let me run one one more trace RT. www.whitehouse.gov. Is it .gov? Yeah, .gov. So we are going to be routed to the White House's uh, website. And this was fairly quickly. So the first router is my own wireless broadband router, just like on the top here. The second one is the Verizon router, just like the one up here. And then it's going to get routed through a bunch of different routers until it finally reaches the destination. So if you look over here, we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different routers to reach whitehouse.gov, which makes sense because I live in PA and White House is down in Washington. So it makes sense that I only took me um, eight routers to get to whitehouse.gov, as in where Google took me 14 hops, and we know that Google is not in, 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 in this East Coast. All right, now that we have two trace RTs over here, Let's uh, look at a look, look at something over here that's interesting. So tracing, it's over here. It says tracing route to www.google.com over a maximum of 30 hops. Okay. At the bottom here it says tracing route to whitehouse.gov over a maximum of 30 hops. So what is this maximum of 30 hops? What that stands for is if you hit more than 30 routers to reach a destination, the trace route command stops at the 30th hop okay so the maximum amount of hops you can trace by default is set to be 30 period and then um, what you can do is you can use a parameter under the trace RT command to actually change the number of hops you want to travel so let me show you how to do that really quick okay so the the uh, parameter that we're gonna use is called minus H so you type in trace RT you say minus H and then you define the maximum amount of hops you are willing to take you can put in 60 you can put in a hundred before the trace terminates let's do five and let's run this on the whitehouse.gov so I can show you how it's going to terminate after the fifth hop so www.whitehouse.gov Press enter. Okay, as you can see, the trace is complete. So on the first spot, we took eight hops to reach whitehouse.gov. On this one over here with the minus H parameter, we define the maximum hops before the trace RT terminates to be five so the trace was complete in five let's do one more so trace RT minus H let's just do four well, let's do three www.google.com so this should terminate on the third hop boom it's over okay so you can actually change this number this is just the default number of 30 hops you can also go beyond 30 to 100 hops alrighty all right, so let me just clear the screen really quick, CLS, to clear the screen, and type in one more command. Well, not a command, but a help tool. So if you type in trace RT, and then do slash question mark, you will get a list of all the parameters that you can use uh, with the trace RT command. And not all of them are that important, but the one I showed you was important, and you can check the others yourself. So just remember, with trace RT is a diagnostic tool because it traces your packets okay so if you're trying to reach google.com but you can't reach it you are able to find where is the failure happening so if it's failing in the second hop that means your ISP has a problem if it is failing all the way in the middle somewhere you know it is not your ISP it is somebody else not much you can do about it but it is still information and then you can also gather some miscellaneous information I'll give you an example so let's do a trace RT whitehouse.gov okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press enter
And if you look at these names carefully, there are some descriptive qualities to these names. So as I come closer to White House, which is as you come closer to number eight, the last hop, you start say, seeing this thing called uh, Akamai Technologies. Okay, so basically you can deduce by looking at this that the White House actually has business dealings with Akamai Technologies. Now when you go to Google and you type in Akamai Technologies, it comes to be that Akamai Technologies is an ISP that actually does serve White House, okay, to host some of their files or videos or whatever. But I'm just letting you know that you by looking around here at these uh, names, you can find out information such as this, okay. Maybe the information in the middle here is not that important, it just says Verizon. But as you come closer to whitehouse.gov, you start to see Akamai Technologies. Now obviously that is not any kind of um, diagnostic tool, it just seems to be some interesting detective work, alright? But mainly we want to use Trace RT for diagnostics. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.